Kansas farm couple is trying to have a baby, and the spoons start rattling when the earth moves, but not how you'd think, and the next thing you know it, they have a son. One night, his bed starts shaking, but not how you'd think, and the next thing you know it, he's out in the barn scaring the chickens, and hovering from the ground, speaking in tongues and throwing vehicles and people through the air. The boy's name is Brandon Breyer, that's his earthly name anyway. On his home planet, they call him something else. Brandon's resemblance to another young Kansas boy with remarkable abilities is surely no accident. Brightburn is the title reference to Breyer's hometown. Is a superhero origin story reimagined as a horror movie. What if Clark Kent, instead of being grateful to his parents who raised him and defended the truth, justice in America's way, had a power-hungry psychopath whose motto was to take the world? Skinny, smart, and easily picked on at school, Brandon, Jackson A. Dunn, comes to believe that he's not that special, but superior, finding less and less reasons to play along with the pathetic human creatures who never understood him in the first place. He has a bloody way of messing with them. The soundtrack hums with deep tooth rattling vibrations. It's scary whenever you see the kid on screen, and even scarier when you don't. The gore and the scares work pretty well together. The director and the screenwriters, Mark Gunn and Brian Gunn, hit the genre beats clearly and effectively. What makes Brightburn a little better than average is the time it spends observing Brandon with Tori and Cal, his loving, alarmed mom and dad, who are played with excellent game faces by Elizabeth Banks and Dave and Danum. Before the bodies start piling up, they act as if they're in a dark comedy about parenthood. What happens when your sweet little child starts acting weird and doing things you don't understand, like filling a notebook with creepy drawings and disappearing in the middle of the night? He's not our son. He's some weird thing we found in the woods, Cal shouts at Tori at a stressful moment. It feels that way sometimes, but you get through it. Or not. I don't know if Brightburn will be the start of a franchise, but I kind of hope so. I actually did like this movie, even though there was a interesting logo with big muscles and a knit mask, but I still like the movie. It's rated R. It just came out today. It's an hour and 30 minutes, so I'm going to actually give this movie a 7. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.